All right, hello everybody. My name is Troy Harrison Chris, and on today's 4K 60 FPS Kingdom Come Deliverance video, I'm gonna be talking about the best combat tips to help you survive in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Here are my favorite tips that will help you live more and die less. I have played the beta extensively and have had multiple videos where I clear basically every camp in the game. So if you're wondering where I get these ideas and tips from, uh, go check my older Kingdom Come Deliverance videos. You will see all these strategies being implemented right there. All right, besides that, thank you all for a thousand subscribers. Let's see how fast we can get to 2,000 subscribers. My name is Troy Harrison Chris. Like this video, subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, the first tip is save your stamina. Everything you do in Kingdom Come Deliverance uses stamina. If you run, if you walk, if you swing your sword, if you hold your bow down too long, if you run into somebody, that is using stamina. So make sure you are constantly watching that big yellow bar. If you swing too much, you're gonna be using a lot of stamina. If that yellow bar goes too far down, your attacks will be very slow and very inaccurate and very easy for an enemy to rip you apart. The next tip is the block button is more important than doing a perfect parry. What I mean by that is don't worry about doing a perfect directional block to do the perfect parry and then counter the opponent. It is much more important that you block the main attack and do not get sliced. So hold down that Q button as soon as you see your enemy throwing attack. But make sure you're not constantly holding the block button as that also uses stamina. The next tip is to apply quick combinations with different directional attacks. Yes, you can do a front attack, a left attack, a right attack, a bottom left attack, bottom right attack, but there is also that middle stab. Make sure you are switching up your attacks to keep your opponents guessing and make it hard for them to block your strikes. The next tip may seem obvious, but it is very important in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Target the least armored spot. There are so many different armor combinations that somebody could be wearing a fully plated helmet and a completely cloth gambeson and cloth boots, cloth everything. Do not hit the guy's head if he's wearing a full plated helmet. Go for the least armored part. That's just simple, but it is super important in Kingdom Come Deliverance. The next tip is about combat positioning. Kingdom Come Deliverance has a lock on combat system but that doesn't mean that your swings will only hit one person. Let's say there are two enemies coming towards you, but they're kind of towards your left. You can either think about it as, I'm gonna aim for the first guy, and then my initial attack is gonna swing and hit him, and then the after swing is gonna swing through and hit the next guy, but then the main swing swings through the first guy, and then the hard amount of the swing swings into the guy you're actually targeting into. There's a lot of stuff like that, so use your left and right swings appropriately. If there are people to your left, multiple people, swing to the left. Target the person behind you, it'll swing through the first person and into the second person. If that first person is wearing heavy armor, maybe consider targeting him, swing through him, and then hopefully your blade will still continue into the second target. Yeah, I know it's a lock on combat system, but yes, your swings will hit multiple people if you use the directional attacks appropriately switch back and forth between enemies. Do not stay on one target. If there are two people approaching you, why would you swing a thousand times on the first person and ignore the other guy that is slowly working around to your back? The AI in this system is smart and if you are solely attacking one person, the other person will get a better position and kill you very quickly. So to pop back and forth on PC, you can hit the shift key and switch back and forth between enemies. This is very important. I know it's a lock on combat system, but do not feel that you need to lock on to that person until they're dead. It is very important to go back and forth and balance DPS depending on the enemy type. This next tip is very important. If somebody's wearing cloth armor, you can rapidly use the stab attack instead of using left to right attacks. I know I said earlier it is great to do quick combos and keep the person off balance, but in this game it is very hard to block that middle stab attack. If somebody is not wearing really good plate armor, feel free to stab them in their chest repeatedly. On PC it's the right mouse button. It's very easy to do and it's often a good strategy. Another tip is that directional attacks are very good once you get someone off balance with a stab attack or a kick. Kingdom Come Deliverance doesn't just have that five star system, there's other stuff you can do. Combine the attacks in a way that you think it would actually work in real life and it probably will work 
and came and come deliverance. The next tip is if somebody is in a fully plated armor, do not use a sword on them. Kingdom Come Deliverance has a variety of weapons from bows to axes, but if somebody's wearing a fully plated armor, use a mace. Use something that's gonna clang that armor, that's gonna damage that armor. If you swing a super sharp sword at someone in fully plated armor, it's just gonna scratch the armor, it's not gonna do any damage to the actual person. But if you use something heavy and blunt, swing it at their head, it's gonna ring that armor back and forth, and they're gonna go crazy. On another note, if somebody's wearing cloth armor, do not use a mace. Slash him with a sword and he will start bleeding. Here's another tip. If you're using a short sword and a shield, it's going to take a lot longer to kill an enemy than if you're using a great sword and you're rapidly attacking them. Yes, you will be a lot better at defense, but you will sacrifice the time to kill. This is super good if you feel like you are not super good at the sword combat and you want that extra layer of protection. Early on in the game, when you have bad armor and you're not super good at sword combat, I recommend probably using a sword and a shield, get the feel of the combat, and once you feel like you're super good at timing and predicting your enemy's attack, go on to that two-handed sword and get rid of the shield. The next tip is use your armor against your enemy. If you're wearing light armor, avoid them, strafe away from them, you have way more speed than them. But if you're wearing heavy armor, make sure you are closing the distance as quickly as you can and using your extra defense to your advantage. Attacks in Kingdom Come Deliverance are a lot different than other games. You don't just receive normal damage to your health points. If somebody hits you with a sword or an arrow, you will start bleeding. The only way to heal this is to wrap a bandage around the wounded area and that will stop you from losing bleed damage to your health. After you've wrapped the wound with a bandage and you've stopped the bleeding, there are a couple ways to heal yourself. You can either eat food, take a nap, or drink alcohol. Also, if you're good at alchemy, you can go ahead and craft a healing potion. This next tip is very important. In the full game, you will see a green shield that will tell you exactly when to parry. Click and block at that time and also block in the correct direction as the attack will do a perfect parry in dealing more parry damage to the opponent after their failed attack. If you hold down the block button at the perfect moment as your enemy is attacking but you fail to get the correct direction on the stick, you will still block the attack but you will not do the parry afterwards. The next tip is if you are in a quest that gives you a companion, do not let him fight the entire battle for you. That companion could totally die in that battle and then you would not see him the rest of the game. Just because there's somebody helping you, do not take the fight off. That person could die and he could be important to a side quest or something else along the way. Feel free to take the charge in the battle even if um, you go back and tell your captain and he gives you reinforcements. Do not back off in these fights. Any of these NPCs can die and they could be important to a quest later on. Don't worry too much though because NPCs that are important to the main quest that drive Henry through the story are no longer killable. They changed this from the beta. In the beta, everybody was killable. In the full game, you will not be able to kill anybody who is strictly super important to the quest. If you are planning to use a bow in Kingdom Come Deliverance, plan on mastering the art of kiting. If you haven't played a bunch of MMOs, this is where you shoot someone, preferably slow them down, run away, get yourself some distance, shoot them again, get more distance as they're chasing you. You can do this in Kingdom Come Deliverance by shooting somebody in the leg, running away, and they'll be hobbling as they're trying to chase you. You can get some more space. Master the art of shooting somebody with the bow and running away, and then shooting them again and running away, and shooting them again and running away. It's a great strategy. Feel free to master it. You're welcome. This next tip about archery is um, when you're fighting multiple targets with a bow and arrow, um, you personally kind of have to decide whether or not to focus fire one target or spread out your DPS between multiple targets and kill them all kind of towards the end. Um, my recommendation is if there are a lot of archers that you're facing in whatever pack you've encountered, take out the archers, focus fire as fast as you can because they can hit you once and you'll be doing bleeding damage throughout the rest of the fight. If you're facing a lot of people with melee weapons, I recommend spreading out the DPS, shooting people in the knee, shooting people in the foot if they're wearing really nice helmets, and then, yeah, spread out the DPS and slow, slowly get them with that kiting thing that I just mentioned. Shoot a couple guys, run away, shoot a couple guys, run away. But yes, 
Focus those archers because they will ruin your day. All right, the next tip, let's go. Okay, this next tip is very, very important once again. If you're using the bow and arrow, do not hold it down for very long. One, it uses a lot of stamina if you're holding down your bow shot before you release it. Two, it'll be more inaccurate the longer you hold it down. My, my recommendation is get your target in the middle of the screen and literally try and quick scope them. The quicker you release the bow, the more accurate it's gonna be, the harder it's gonna hit them, and the faster it's gonna fly through the sky. Do not hold the bow down, too much stamina is used, and you'll be much more inaccurate. At the beginning of the game, if you don't have your bow stat level up a lot, your character will be swaying around with the bow if you hold it down for a long time. Do not do this, do quick shots, aim quickly, shoot quickly, you will be way better off. Do not aim down for a long time. This is not Skyrim where you have a slow motion hold down and you can aim for a long time. Not the case whatsoever. Quick fire enemies, you'll thank me later. The next tip may seem obvious, but it is very important. Do not always shoot someone in the head. I know you may always be aiming for the head because that makes sense with archery, but if somebody's wearing a fully plated helmet where they can barely see out of the eye slits because it is so armored, I don't know, maybe shoot them in the foot. It might work a little better than bouncing a metal arrow off of a metal helmet, okay? Does that make sense? If somebody's not wearing a helmet, aim for the head, it's a one shot. If somebody's wearing a helmet, it might take two shots. If they have a really good helmet, it might take three shots in the head. Be logical in this game. Be logical. Do not shoot someone in the helmet if they're wearing a big, big plate helmet. It just makes sense. Okay, this next tip is level what you want to play later in the game early in the game. Kingdom Come Deliverance doesn't let you pick where you want your skill points to go. If you swing a sword, you're going to get sword XP. If you shoot someone with a bow, it just gives you bow XP and that perk levels up as you do it. So they kind of take that Skyrim XP style where it levels up as you do something, but then Skyrim made you then put in the perk points. Um, Kingdom Come Deliverance just, just puts the stats in for you. It just levels up what you are doing and that is really cool. So at the beginning of the game, if you find a point in the game where you feel like you have some time, you wanna be a really good archer, go out into that forest and start start hunting. Start shooting animals, start shooting anything you can that isn't gonna, that isn't gonna ruin a quest later on. You know what I'm saying? Level up what you want to level up early on. You can be a master swordsman pretty quickly in the game if you devote to one thing or another. So yeah, this, this is kind of important. Commit to what you want to do. Don't be like, I'm gonna be an archer, and then I'm gonna swing my sword, and then I'll be like, oh, what's a mace? And then sometimes I'll beat people up in the quest. Oh, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll talk through it. Pick at the beginning of the game what you want your character to do and kind of really focus on that. It's, it's really hard playing through this game and being a jack of all trades. Next tip is use cover. This game is set in a big old forest. There is a lot of trees and a lot of rocks that you can crouch and duck behind. Constant cover everywhere. Literally use it. All right, thank you for watching. These next set of tips are focused mainly on sneaking around. Stealth is actually a pretty big part of this game and you can play this game sneakily and not going guns blazing or swords blazing as you might say in this game. Right into combat, you can sneak around a lot of the stuff. So let's go, sneak combat, here are all the tips I got. The first tip is if you are actually planning on playing this game stealthily, you need to be carrying a light cloth armor set. In this game, heavy armor makes a lot of noise. Um, even if you are approaching somebody, crouching up against them, if you're wearing heavy armor, it's going clink, clank, 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 and they will turn around, they will hear you, they will scream for back. Do not wear heavy armor if you're planning on being stealthy. I know that obviously seems obvious, obviously obvious, but seriously, um, it's a big part of the game. Equip your armor to the combat style you want. If you're an archer, do not be wearing plate armor. If you're sneaking around, do not be wearing plate armor. If you're going in sword, great sword, you need to be wearing plate armor. It doesn't have to be full plate armor if you're going shield and sword, but um, you should still be really looking into heavy armor. But yeah, like I was saying, if you're sneaking around, use light armor. It doesn't make any noise and you can sneak through the camps and take out enemies one by one as opposed to drawing everybody at once from pulling one guard with full on combat. If you are attempting to take down an enemy in a stealth combat where nobody else will hear it, you will need a dagger equipped. 
These daggers are used for silent takedowns, but they absolutely 100% are not used in full-on combat. So, if you are attempting the silent takedown, and for some reason he gets alerted, he turns around, it's not going to work. If that guy whips out a sword, you're going to die. Be thinking about that. Yes, keep a dagger if you want to use the stealth mode, but no, you cannot use it in full combat. Imagine somebody with a great sword, and you had a six-inch dagger. Not going to work. Good luck. The next tip for stealth is um, when you're creeping around, look out for different NPCs that are walking around, that are doing their day and night cycles where they wake up, they eat, they go wash their face, they go down to the creek, they see what's up, they take a loop around, they they patrol their camp. So um, even if you, you kill someone um, and then you go on to the next guy and you die, your game is saved, that person might not be in the same exact spot as you were before. Enemies move around and you have to often watch out for different guard rotations. So take your time, look around, and do not rush into combat if you're going for the stealth mode with cloth armor. Take your time. It will pay off. Go slow and you can totally go through this game without pulling a ton of enemies. The next tip for stealth is keep two sets of armor. Cloth armor doesn't weigh that much because it's made of cloth. It's not a piece of metal. So, um, when you're actually um, trying to infiltrate a camp, and you're trying to be stealthy, use your cloth armor, but I would also recommend keeping a set of either plate armor or other heavy armor that you can use if you randomly come into a set of enemies where you can't take them on stealthily, if they, if, if they find you before you find them kind of deal. So I definitely recommend keeping two sets of armor at all times if you are going for the stealth cloth armor set. Just keep that in mind. Keep something else that will actually give you some defense if you come across multiple enemies that you cannot take out with your dagger. There are a lot of situations where the enemies might see you before you see them. So I definitely recommend keeping two sets of armor at all times if you are going for the stealth cloth armor set. Just keep that in mind. Keep something else that will actually give you some defense if you come across multiple enemies that you cannot take out with your dagger. This last tip is that combat is not your only choice. If you find an NPC and you want to spare their life, do it. Go ahead. They'll be continuously moving throughout the game and you might re-encounter them throughout the game. Also, keep in mind if you uh, come across a bandit camp and you slay them, right? They're not going to be in the game later. Like that, that bandit might be in a quest later. He might have something to do with a side quest. Most of the quests in Kingdom Come Deliverance can be done Batman style without killing anybody. So keep that in mind. If you feel like you have drawn too much blood today, why don't you take some mercy on the next quest giver or person you have to talk to. You don't have to slay them. You don't have to ruin their day. You can talk to them. You can get through the quest without combat altogether. I know that's a crazy thought, but it's totally, totally an option. Last but not least, if you're having a really hard time finding a sneak route into an enemy camp, try and find a scout along the road that is wearing the enemy's armor, loot their gear, equip it, and then pass as one of them and walk straight into the camp. Keep in mind, if your speech skill isn't high enough, the enemy guards might try and talk to you in a language that you do not know. If your speech skill is low, you will say something in an incorrect language. They will know you're not one of them. They will attack you. If you are planning on going this route where you sneak into camps, did not equip the enemy's armor. Leave a like, subscribe, and share this with a friend, and let's see how fast we can hit 2,000 subscribers. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, THC for short, and I'm out of here.